What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from The Quartering. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Uh, I suppose probably better than the several Disney employees uh, that were caught up in a sting yesterday that um, raises a lot of questions. You know, Disney does employ a lot of people all over the world. And when you employ that many people, you're going to have a couple of weirdos uh, get into your mix. I just think that's unfortunately that I mean that's just the reality. It's not even unfortunate. You have a cross section of society. If you hire, if you have fifty thousand people working for you, you'd be surprised what some of them are capable of or had done in the past or are doing currently. But it looks like several now Disney employees caught up in a uh, a sting that enjoys the company of young ones. By the way, this isn't the first time in just the past year that this has happened with Disney employees. So I would ask, you know, parents out there, you know, I think if you want to take your kids to the happiest place on earth, I think that it's reasonable to uh, start requesting Disney do a better job, you know, monitoring the type of people they hire. Uh, this is not just once or twice. This is like more than a dozen people in the last few years that have worked for Walt Disney Company that seems to have the same affliction, we'll call it. Uh, this out of Polk County, Florida, 17 people from across Central Florida have been caught up in Operation Child Protector, a six-day undercover investigation into creeps um, run by multiple agencies. According to Polk County Sheriff's Office, 16 people from around Clouston, Davenport, Kissimmee, Orlando, Polk City, and Zephyrillis, Zephyr Hills, Zephyr, know, one was a visitor from L.A. Um, Sheriff Grady Judd said it all intended to engage in hookups uh, with people that they believed were kids, but instead they encountered under, undercover officers. These are nasty, nasty, nasty people. And when we go through this, understand that obviously we can't even use the words they used. We obviously can't show you the pictures and video clips that they sent to people that they thought were kids. Among them are several employees at Disney World. One couple, Savannah and Jonathan McGrew, wanted to... Uh, a couple wanted to bring somebody who was very young into some sort of role play. They worked at as custodians at Walt Disney Hollywood Hills. Are you kidding me? That's how you talk to a kid, Judd said. Another person, a lifeguard at Disney Animal Kingdom Lodge, who Judd said left his pregnant girlfriend to hook up with somebody he thought was a kid. Judd said he was dressed in his work clothes when he came to the undercover location. He's a Navy veteran. He was working toward a dive team or SEAL team or some sort of spec ops job. They did a background check on him and found that he had friends or affiliates that were bad people and they tossed him. Judd said one of the people uh, was actually uh, had the virus <laughs> and intended to hook up with a kid again. The list of people, uh, absolutely shocking. This isn't the first time. You know, two Disney World workers, 14 others. This is back in June of last year. Walt Disney World employees and 14 others found in possession of videos that they shouldn't have. In early 2020, the same county uh, went out and, and, and ran a sting then. I, I, I don't know how often you can continue to wonder about the type of people that are applying for jobs at Disney. Now, again, this is an investigation that took place in an area highly populated with Disney employees. If they were to run the same kind of operation, let's say near an Amazon, you know, city where there's a ton of Amazon employees or UPS employees like Louisville, Kentucky, you know, you might get the same headlines. So the headlines are more spicy because of the, um, the, how do I say the inclusion of the word Disney, but I wonder, is Disney doing enough to weed these type of people out? Uh, does Disney have any additional um, responsibility to parents 
who bring their kids into their theme parks to maybe do a little better job um, background checking people and figuring out exactly what's going on. I would argue, yes, since they're, um, they seem so concerned about your family safety by now requiring employees to get the jab, uh, I would argue that perhaps that's something they should do. Here again, 17, this is June 16th, 2020. Operation Guardians of the Innocent, five. I mean, two Disney World employees, a nurse. I mean, what is going on? And I can't even like read the details. God, these all they all look exactly like you would expect, don't they? Just cretinous. Why do all of them have beards? That's curious. Oh, this this is that Amos? <laughs> this I mean, good grief. Good grief. We can go back to 2019. This is a reoccurring theme. Two more Disney employees among 17 uh, caught up in another sting. I mean, this is not a good day for Disney. I mean, I think we, you know, I don't think anyone really cares about this from the stock market perspective, but you know, it doesn't look like Disney's having a great day, but they also have a couple of big lawsuits uh, you know, barreling down on them. The other news around Disney, of course, is uh, they're various. You could see seven Disney employees and a nurse among 17. I mean, look, if you're going to pay $6,000 to Star Wars LARP with your family at Disney World, don't you think that maybe you would want to, you know, have the employees be somewhat not creepy? The people are paying six thousand dollars. The voyage total five thousand nine hundred ninety nine dollars. Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser rates vary depending on your voyage departure date. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, I don't know what else to say. Uh, you know, in terms of Disney, not a good look uh, in a world in a time in which people are spending more time at home and people don't want to give money to a company that continues to produce films uh, that are filmed across the street uh, from the Uyghurs, for example. Uh, Disney has long put itself in a position where I'm not sure that they're the family friendly company that everyone thinks they are. I think we, you know, history, history proves that it's just not good. Um, but yeah, you know, before you give your money to Disney, think about, are they doing enough to protect your kids? Are they um, filming, you know, are they uh, ideologically consistent when they talk about lifting up voices of women and people of color? Uh, are they ideologically consistent when they post BLM to their Twitter feed and then block out people like John Boyega on the, on the posters? I don't think so. Uh, and it's probably time to start stopping giving this company your money. Hope you enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you again real soon.